And so right here in the beginning, what we're going to want to do is we want Sonic to begin to start moving right. And we're going to full jump, which will in turn land us on this uh, green platform right here. We're going to land, run for just like a frame or two, and then do another immediate full jump, which will land us right on top of this. We are then going to tap left so Sonic slows down. Once you see him descending off of the platform of the red spring, begin holding left. Alright, Sonic will then land. And when we hit this red spring, we want to hold left for a few frames. Which will allow Sonic to keep more speed. Once he turns around, then we roll. Okay. So we're rolling, we're rolling. So we want to wait until just about Sonic is coming off and like lining up with this flat. Once that happens, I like to then hold left, which will get us up here without landing on this platform. We then do a tap jump. Once we've pressed up against the box, I mean, you can do it before. I like to press up against the box. We'll get the box, we then hold right. Let's see, yep, and we got in here. Okay, so we're rolling. We're continuing. We get right up to about here. We begin holding left. You'll see Sonic lands on this platform with these rings perfectly. All right, so like I said, we continue just by holding left. See Sonic lands on this platform. Upon landing, we are going to want to jump. Yeah. We want to aim our jump to be on top of the speed shoe here. And I like to hold jump after bouncing. And then I let go. Here we're holding right. It looks like we're going to hit the wall. So like I said, to compensate for that, we just tap left. And then if you hit the wall, we hold right for a few frames. We full jump and then continue. Let's see if we can do that a bit cleaner. Yeah, that should be right. So we're holding right. You'll see we don't hit the wall. Sonic has optimal speed coming in here. Since we have speed uh, speed shoes, our cap is above uh, 1326, whatever the speed cap, or, or 1056, whatever the speed cap is. We want to stop holding all directions. Let Sonic hit this wall. Right? As soon as we see Sonic hitting the left spring, we then switch to holding left. Right? Sonic's going to run through here. And what we're looking for is this little bump right there. As soon as Sonic flattens out on your next frame, you want to full jump. That will get us through all of these springs around you. Sonic will land here. Simply hold down, hit the red spring, begin to roll. As soon as Sonic, Sonic's body has passed this part of the ground, we then begin holding right. That will bring us up here. We have these two buzz bombers. Just as this next one's about to go off screen, I like to do a full jump. Keep holding right. You'll see we land past these two moving platforms. Sonic will then land right here. We're going to continue to keep holding right. Right, Sonic gets those rings. When we're on our downward slope, right about here, we we'll want to do a jump. Sonic will then land on this platform, and before, just before the end, we're going to want to do a full jump. Right, hold it until Sonic's at the peak of his jump. That will allow, allow us to get up here. But so we're going to jump right between these two uh, purple things. Right, a full jump. Sonic will then land on the platform immediately upon landing. Go ahead and do another mid jump. Or so full jump onto the platform. Land. Go ahead and give it a mid jump. You'll land up here. Once we're on, on top of this platform, we want to wait until Sonic um, becomes parallel with this second to last light. That's in our background. We are then going to proceed to full jump and hold right. You'll see Sonic goes through the CPU sign. We will miss the enemy and miss the uh, spiky boy right there. Continue to hold right through this section. We still have speed cap. With the way speed uh, speed shoes works, it lasts for like roughly 18 seconds. So, so we keep holding right. We then let go of all inputs. Sonic will hit the spring. I like to then tap left. Right, just a little bit to get him some space from that wall. And then switch to holding right. That will get us just over these two crabs. So as Sonic lands, tap left 
to begin his slowdown animation you will see that Sonic will then push up against this wall right when he's about aligned with uh, this right here this little green part in the wall you can switch back to holding right Sonic will land in this little gap right here every single time we then hold right and as soon as we're about to hit the wall switch to holding left now since we still have speed speed shoot activated we will not be rolling we're actually gonna want to hold right after this spring so we hit the spring you'll see Sonic's momentum is constantly gaining until the new speed cap and bam 25 and you see the issue is if we're about to run now if you're about to run out of speed shoe then holding right as you see gives us the 1536 which is speed cap which is what we don't want you'll see that takes us a little bit longer to end the stage right so if your speed shoe has run out or is about to run out once you hit that you'll see our, our speed is rapidly dropping instead of hitting right to bring Sonic up to speed cap we roll that'll end the stage just a little bit faster if it's running out and like I said if we have speed shoe rolling does not do us any favors so we just hold right Cool, there we go.